Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host Tomas Alas and in this video we are reviewing the brand new and highly anticipated Nightcore EDC 27 flashlight. In this video we're going to go over what features this has to offer you, taking a look at the pros and the cons in order to help you decide if this light is right for you. Before we get started make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss future videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that being said, let's get right into it. The main reason why you may want to invest in an EDC 27 is the thinness and the sizing because it's unlike other flashlights that are cylindrical and they press into you while carrying them for extended periods of time. This EDC 27 comes in with an overall length of 5.34 inches, it has a width of 1.24 inches and a thinness of just 0.56 inches. It is significantly thinner than other flashlights which makes it so comfortable to carry and best of all it only has a weight of 4.37 ounces. This flashlight comes in with six different modes. We have an ultra low of 15 lumens giving you 37 hours of runtime. We have the low providing 65 lumens and 11 hours of runtime. The mid gives you 200 lumens and a runtime of three hours and 45 minutes. The high comes in at 1000 lumens providing 45 minutes of runtime. Both the turbo and the strobe give you an astonishing 3,000 lumens. That is absolutely mind-blowing. A possible consideration, though, is that you can only use that 3,000 in bursts. I timed it to be about 11 to 12 seconds before it automatically steps down to that 1,000 lumens. It also gets extremely hot because there's not a lot of material here, helping increase the carryability, but it certainly gets quite hot. What I really enjoy is that this has a proximity sensor that kicks in when you're at a thousand or three thousand lumens. So when you get close to it or if it's in the pocket and accidentally turns on, it will bump it down to the lower lumen setting, protecting your heat, battery life, and your person so you're not burning any holes anywhere that would be rather uncomfortable. Helping you access the different modes and settings are two different buttons on the top. We have a tall one and a flat short one. The tall one allows you to get quick on and off as well as lockout mode one and lockout mode two. That's right, this has two different lockout modes. The first one will allow you to not press the top one but still access that 3000 lumen turbo and strobe setting. The second lockout mode prevents nothing from being turned on, which is great for travel so that we don't drain through any battery or accidentally turn it on. Carrying around this light is done via a thick pocket clip that has great retention. It also has a lanyard attachment. If you're carrying this in a bag or pack, you can quickly deploy it. You may have noticed that this also has an LCD screen that informs you of the battery life, the mode that you're on, and also the runtime, which I think is just an absolutely genius feature to have on any flashlight. The EDC 27 boasts a 12,000 candela rating. I think that's great because the beam is extremely floody and disperses a lot of the light everywhere still allowing you to reach up to 240 yards, but yet it maintains a very soft, balanced look on everything. So it's not a tight hot spot that's gonna bounce a lot of light back into your face. It also allows you to easily scan and search a wide room or area for any dropped items. To get out of the lockout mode, on the instructions it said to half press than full press, I never got the hang of that. So what I do is I just triple press it because I think that works better. I go one, two, three, all the way down. Press and hold it. You'll notice a key kind of unlocking and then you're good out of the one and two lockout modes. I'm also a big fan of the traction points that they added. There's four of them that help you get a good grip on this flashlight. So even if you needed to use this as an impromptu self-protection tool, it certainly has that capability. Although I kind of would have loved to see a little bit more of a raised ring or steel core on the top just to facilitate a little bit more versatility and durability because I definitely don't want to be cracking those lenses. While carrying and testing this light, a really cool feature that I found is that you can half press this in any setting to access the ultra low 15 lumens. That means if you're in the 200 or even the 1000 and you half press it, it'll give you that 1500 lumens to maybe check a menu at a diner or whatnot without blowing out your vision. And I think that is such a cool feature to have on this light. This is also quickly rechargeable via a USB type C and will recharge within about 75 minutes from zero to full. For everyday carry, I absolutely love this light. It has a lot of tactical capabilities, but yet it's so comfortable, thin, compact, and easy to carry. For outdoor adventures, it offers a wide beam so you can quickly search a campsite and navigate your way in the dark. For tactical situations, you have that instant access to 3000 lumens and a hard press will give you that strobe for any disorientating signaling work that you may need. A couple considerations 
for this light is that it does get hot quickly as we mentioned before but also one time while i was in the car i guess i accidentally pressed it into the lockout mode one so i went to go hit it and nothing was happening so i would highly suggest practicing that quick one two three to unlock the lockout mode kind of like a tap rack reload if you have a jam just get into that automatic habit of fixing it in case you do occur this problem and need those lumens. This EDC 27 flashlight is extremely comfortable, easy to carry, and provides a ton of versatility for just about any mission. I think it is an absolute win, especially at 88 bucks at the time of this review. I'll make sure and drop a link down below. Is this the most tactical flashlight? No, I certainly love my long throw P23i, but for daily carry situations and traveling, I think this looks extremely innocent, yet provides you with a ton of lumens and stopping power. Do me a favor and let me know what are your thoughts on this EDC 27 from Night Court in the comment section down below and what other flashlights should we check out here on the channel. If you enjoyed this video or you found it valuable or informative in any way, shape, or form, please consider dropping a like, sharing, and subscribing, as well as following us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so that way you won't miss future videos helping you save money and upgrade your gear. With that being said, my name is Tomas Alas. Thank you for watching. I'm excited to see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.